Now, while President Obama continues to tank in the latest polls, the left is getting desperate and once again proving that they will do anything to try and help their fledgling candidate, even if that means making up blatant lies about his opponent. Now, here is DNC Chairwoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz lying about what Governor Romney said at the last debate. During the entire section of the debate on, on the Middle East, Mitt Romney didn't bring up Israel once. And I think it just shows that he really isn't committed to Israel in the way that he says he is and has really only used the issue as a political opportunity. Now, I'm not sure what the Congresswoman was watching on Monday night, but Romney actually mentioned Israel 14 times. Here's the proof. Our ally, Israel, between Israel and the United States, will stand with Israel. And, and if Israel is attacked, I was in Israel, ourselves in Israel. You skipped Israel, that you skipped Israel. With Israel, Prime Minister of Israel, the turmoil with Israel, tensions with Israel. Are Israel and the Palestinians closer to, to reaching a peace agreement? And joining me now with Reaction, the author of the number one New York Times bestseller, Culture of Corruption, Michelle Malkin, is back with us. You know, they lie a lot. Um, fast and Furious, we've been discussing the Benghazi cover-up. Uh, why lie about something that was so easily proven to be a lie? Why would, why would Debbie Wasserman Schultz do that? Why does the campaign lie about Benghazi when they knew within hours? I don't get it. Well, with Debbie Wasserman Schultz, if it's a day that ends in Y, it's another day for a bald-faced Debbie Wasserman Schultz lie. Um, and there are so many times when she has made... Uh, statements that are so blatantly false and she is in a league of prevarication of her own i mean this has not been the only time that she's been caught there's a whole laundry list with particular regard to when she's trying to pander to jewish voters and you might recall this i'm sure you talked about it sean when she blatantly lied about what the is p she told jewish voters at a dnc event that quote uh, no less than ambassador michael oren said this that republicans are what what, what they're doing is dangerous for Israel. And the Israeli ambassador, Michael Oren, immediately fact-checked uh, her skirt on fire and said that he had never said such a thing. But what they do is, is launch these lies like missiles out there and hope that somehow that they stick. And they're ending up, I think, destroying the reputation, certainly, of Debbie Wasserman Schultz. You know, there, there was a, a, um, some sort of internal memo from the Democrats uh, that said that Debbie Wasserman Schultz was the least effective surrogate for Obama, and yet there oh, she is day after day. Well, it's gold for us, I think. Well, they pulled her off you know, a lot of these TV shows because every time she'd go on, she'd get in trouble. At the end of the day, doesn't this really come back to the economy and the fact that 25 million Americans are unemployed, one in six in poverty, 17 million more Americans are on food stamps, bringing that number to 49 million Americans. And of course, we can go back and look at the president, said he'd cut the deficit in half uh, in his first term. But and, and by the way, we can remind people what he said about it. This is what he said about President Bush. The problem is, is that the way Bush has done it over the last eight years is to take out a credit card from the Bank of China in the name of our children, driving up our national debt from $5 trillion for the first 42 presidents. Number 43 added $4 trillion by his lonesome so that we now have over $9 trillion of debt that, that we are going to have to pay back. $30,000 for every man, woman, and child. That's irresponsible. It's unpatriotic. Um, imagine if we called the president irresponsible and unpatriotic. Uh, and unpatriotic, Chris yes. Matthews would have a heart attack uh, on top of the stroke yeah. that he's going to have, according to President uh, Obama. But in all seriousness, <laughs> by his lonesome. Six yeah. trillion dollars yeah. in new Obama debt, he promised to cut it in half. Fewer Americans yeah. working. More people in poverty. More people on food stamps. Doesn't it come down to this? It certainly does. Keep playing that sound bite, Sean, because um, I think if as long as the Republicans and conservatives are out there reminding people of the failures and the record, the failed record uh, versus the high and mighty hope and change rhetoric, um, I, I don't think I don't see why there isn't an uh, uh, there still is an undecided voter left. And I think that Mitt Romney was very effective in the last debate in tying economic security and national security. And when you have these 
these lying, we've talked about them before, the lying liars and the crap weasels like Debbie Wasserman Schultz out there. And she really is in a, a classlessness all by herself, accusing people of being unpatriotic, both in their criticism of uh, Obamanomics, but also of, of these bloody derelictions of duty when it comes to national security. I, I think we can't lose. All we right. can't. Michelle Malkin, great to see you as always. Thanks for being with us. You bet.